how to find your passion and purpose in life. It often goes with, I don't know what I want in life, or I don't know what I want to do for work or in a relationship. The situation actually goes much deeper than simply finding your passion and purpose in life. Keep watching to see if you realize other moments when you got lost in your opinion. First, we'll look at the reasons why you don't know what to do, and then I'll give you a simple exercise that will help you to find out uh, what you want and be fully in control of your life. Can you imagine that a lot of people can't answer this simple question? What do you want in life? Ask your friends, and more likely the answer will be, I don't know, or very broad, like, I want to live a happy life. What exactly does it mean for you, a happy life? And for sure, the definition of your happy life will be completely different than mine. And here's the thing. If you don't know what you want, then more likely someone often manage your life in some ways and maybe even diminish your opinion and your desires to the level when you stopped making the choices. It can be expressed in such small things as you go to the restaurant and your friends ask you, what do you want to eat? And you say, I don't know, anything. You let other people choose for you. Another example, if you pick the professional because it's popular in the market, or your parents wanted you to do that work, or you follow the family tradition, and you're supposed to be happy with it, but you feel that it's not actually what you wanted. This situation when you don't know what you want can be hidden in what people think is a good intention, such as you decide where we will go or what we will do. I'm up to anything. Here, you may allow a person to make a choice, but if you do it all the time with everybody, what happens is you avoid deciding by yourself. Think about your life for a moment and recall the situations where someone made the decisions instead of you. It's totally fine if it happens once in a while and you know what you want, but you let another person to choose something. However, catch yourself in what moments you didn't decide because you avoided it. These are the parts of your life where you need to work on. Did you know that by 35 years old, your identity or personality is completely formed? and about 95% of actions you do automatically. These are just the habits that you repeat over and over again. To be able to say what you want in life means to get yourself to the present moment and consciously make a decision. For those of you who are younger than 35, get yourself the right habits and be mindful about them. If you're 35 and older, you may need to improve your already established habits, which is totally fine too. Now, when you keep thinking, I don't know what I want in life or in other areas, it means that you live automatically and your brain playing the same old patterns of helplessness. The reason for that could come from a very young childhood teenagers, and it could continue establishing the more you've grown up. To break this pattern, do this simple exercise. From now on, for everything you do, ask yourself, do I want it or not? And the answer should be, yes, I want it, or no, I don't want it. Do I want to drink this coffee in the morning? Yes, I want. Do I want to drink latte? No, I don't want. I want to drink mocha. Do I want to meet with this person? Yes, I want. Or no, I don't want. Do I want to do this work? Yes, I want. Or no, I don't want to do this. Instead, I want to do that. 
Do you notice? That it makes you actually look deeper inside of you and check with yourself. Do you really want it or not? Here's the important thing. When you say, I don't want something, never end on this statement. You have two options. When you say, I don't want, you stop doing this thing that you don't want to do. Or sometimes we need to do the stuff we don't want to get to where we want. You need to train every day if you want to win a marathon. You need to go out and promote your work, your service, if you want to build a business. So when you say, I don't want to train every day, continue the sentence with, but I'm choosing to train because I want to win a marathon. I don't want to go out and promote my service, but I'm choosing that because I want to build a business. And then you drop, I don't want, just leave. I'm choosing to do this particular work because it helps me to grow my business. It's important to turn it into I want or I'm choosing because if you end on I don't want, life will bring you circumstances to prevent you from doing it. There was a time when my sister within a year tried to find a job and every time she got one in a few days or a week, she got very sick. Then in some time, she quit because she couldn't keep up with it. Then one day my parents told me that she got another job and works there for a few weeks already. So I texted my sister. Dasha, I can't believe you finally found the work that you like. She said, how did you know that I like it? I actually really do. I said, you didn't get sick since you started working there. When she didn't want to do the job, her body reacted right away. You don't want it? Here you go, my dear. Stay home. Be sick. Now, how to find your passion and purpose in life. Here we started making conscious choices. But where is that passion come? Practice making the conscious choices of what you want every day. This way, you will find out more things that you want to do. And here's your second step. Try everything that you can so you know if that's what you really want to do or it's not as you expected, and you don't want to do that. For years, I had in my dream list to try to play golf. It looked so interesting to me when I saw it on TV, and then I got an opportunity to do it. After two hours of trying to hit the ball and miss it most of the time, I decided that I don't want to do that anymore. Maybe when I will get like very old, I'll try again. So how can you know what you may be passionate about if you did not try it? I spent five years of traveling all over the world looking for a place I like to live and activities I like to do before I made a mindful decision to live in Beijing because I've chosen that to share with you this business and mindset tips because I'm passionate about it and I can talk for you with, about this for hours. But it took me years to find that out. The more things you try, the more you know how it is and if you want to do this or not. You may read a lot of books, listen to the podcast or watch YouTube videos, but nothing will change until you take action. A big impact on my life had a four-hour workweek book by Tim Ferriss, and I still would sit at home in Russia if I would put a book on the bookshelf and forget about it. Instead, I packed my stuff and went exploring the world. If there are things that you wanted to do for a long time, those are the ones that are good to start with. Put into the list everything that you would want to try and go for them one by one. 
I want to fly a hot air balloon one day. It seems so cool. This stays on my list for like eight years or so already. I still do not have a chance to do that. But at the same time, I accomplished so many of my dreams simply because I wrote them down on my list and looked for the opportunities. I hiked to the top of the active volcano. I've done paragliding, sealing the boat, I've been modeling, I was in the movies and commercials, I did public speaking and learned the meditation. I hugged a little tiger, plenty of things. And I'm sharing that with you so you would also give yourself the freedom to dream and write all possible and impossible things that you would want to try. As Nelson Mandela once said, it always seems impossible until it's done. Understanding what you want, why you want, and what matters to you will help you to find your passion and purpose in life. Question. What one thing you always wanted to do but still didn't? Leave me a comment below. And if you enjoy this video, like it, share it with your fellow entrepreneurs, and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to click a bell so you will get notified about new videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and go for your dreams!